That life was very interesting, right? Because uh, we just received a pioneer badge, right? Our staff number was only 15, and we wanted to make things happen. Of course, it was also very challenging because we didn't have facilities. It's just like uh, starting a new baby. I can recall the first year we are here, all right, that the morning after the flag raising, I used to go up and lead the whole school for morning stretching warm-up. We don't have a room ourselves, we keep on uh, roaming around, borrowing someone's school and eventually, five years later, we have our own building, our own school. In the earlier stages of the construction, um, our principal, Mr. Hassan, used to bring the groups of us to actually go, go around the school. So we literally saw the place growing from something that was from very basic to what it is now. It was quite exciting to join the new principal, to start a school, even though it was quite tiring because we had to ship a lot of equipment from the old school to the new school. When I was first posted to West Wing Secondary in 2005, I was blessed to inherit a brand new school building, a team of enthusiastic staff, and a bunch of excited pupils. For the staff and pupils, it was like, finally, they have a place called home. To nurture and grow this new five-year-old baby, I knew I had to provide a conducive learning environment to motivate and nurture the hearts and minds of the people so that they could venture into new territories and skill new heights of excellence. The thing that uh, struck me when I came to uh, West Spring is that the set three levels, all the set three actually went overseas for camp. <laughs> They actually go overseas to conduct CIP as well. That means they went off the beaches. When I see them uh, caring for the little orphans in uh, Cambodia, I was very touched. They are actually very caring. I think that my most interesting experience is actually doing the harmony at Senja. Since 2006, on an annual basis, our graduating students actually work with the grassroots leader to reach out to the Senja estate. Now, this community service project was initiated with three key harmony objectives in mind. One, community harmony. Two, interracial harmony. And three, harmony with the environment. Harmony at Senja is an event that recognises the importance of a good relationship between the community, the schools and the grassroots organisation. I applaud the efforts of West Spring Secondary School and Zhenhua Senja RC to bring the community together. When I was set four, we went there to give out Mandarin oranges and drinks. So it's a form of like celebrating the new year with our neighbours. Students are going in, in various uh, racial mix together to promote racial harmony to send a message. Um, during the event, we actually ran out to our neighbours and we did a CIP program by collecting newspapers for Recycling. Finally, it ends off with an uh, Earth Day celebration where we uh, promote environmental education. To engage the hearts and minds of our peoples in nation building and to instill in them a sense of confidence and pride in our nation, 
we have invited prominent speakers from the Army, Navy, Air Force, the Civil Defence Force and the Police Force over the last five years to engage our peoples in a dialogue session to better appreciate the nation building process and to make their textbook, social studies textbook, come alive. One of the most touching moments for me was when we were at the Victoria Theatre when our drama club members were actually doing their first performance for the uh, musical Animal Farm. I could see the concerted effort put in by every parts and every members of the whole team. So when the curtain closed, I uh, really have to go to the backstage and congratulate all our young performers for excellent work. Uh, and there I saw all of them crying, hugging, tears of joy. I can still remember the pleasant surprise that we all had when Mr. Sid informed us that His Excellency President S.R. Nathan will be visiting our school. This was in 2008 when our school organised the President charity shoot. I was given the privilege to teach His Excellency the use of our air pistol. It was such an unforgettable experience. All pupils felt so honoured and excited to be able to meet and interact with our President at our very own home ground. His Excellence also commented that I can see that the pupils are very happy in this school. In 2009, our set two students, as part of their interdisciplinary project, was involved in the planning and organising of the Spring Carnival, which is a kind of fun fair. And this is held in together with the opening of our new indoor sports hall. We also took this opportunity to invite the athletes from Uzbekistan, our training country, for the uh, YOG were here for the Asian Youth Games to visit our school. In 2009 and 2010, we were honoured to be one of the few schools in Singapore selected to host and participate in the torch relay for the inaugural Asian Youth Games and Youth Olympic Games in this country. All our stakeholders, school advisory committee, parent support group, community leaders and alumni members came in full force to support these historical events. We are very happy to have a bumper crop of 31 pupils scoring at least 5 distinctions for the 2009 GCO level examinations, with 94.5% of our express pupils getting 5 credits or more. For the very first time in our West Spring history, we managed to get into MOE's achievement table for both the express and normal streams, putting us amongst the top 35% of all secondary schools in Singapore. I think the greatest achievement in my time in West Spring was my O-Level results because I've worked uh, very hard for the O-Levels throughout the year and the results show that my effort didn't go down the drain. Our team, our staff is uh, really, we have a lot of passion. We really want to bring up the brand name of the West Spring Secondary School. In 2010, we will be getting our first Sustained Achievement Award for Sports in recognition of our outstanding performance in air pistol shooting. Our air pistol teams dominated the national scene in all four categories, be it the B or C divisions, boys or girls. They did us proud by sustaining the top four team positions for four consecutive years. As a result, we are also recognised in March 2010 as a niche school in shooting. With clear rationale and processes to provide a holistic education for our students, our school attained the Character Development Award in 2008 and the following year in 2009, we attained the National Education Award. Our uniform groups, MPCC and NCC, obtained their first gold award this year in times for our 10th anniversary. I'm also proud that our aesthetic groups have grown from strength to strength, from owning the display band when we started our school in 2001, to seven groups of performing arts groups in 2001. So we have also achieved three golds, seven silver and four bronze since we shifted to this new premises in 2005. Well, my hopes and aspirations for WSS in the future is to continue one with the excellent good work they're doing now to perhaps uh, improve on the academic grades even further and also to participate in more co-curricular activities so that the school can be champions in these. I hope that um, students
students will be given equal opportunities to develop in areas such as character building as well as CCA apart from building up their academic results. I hope that the school will continue to progress, improve and enhance. First and foremost, we must bring happy 10th anniversary for the school and also I, I hope that the teachers and the students will have a very enjoyable time in the schools. To impart knowledge and to impact lives. Yeah, I foresee uh, West Spring students will produce more sporting leaders in the future. We hope to produce ladies and gentlemen of distinction who are not only able to do well in their academic studies, but more importantly, have strong moral values, have a global outlook, and able to contribute to the larger community. The only thing I can remember is that the teachers were very close, we worked very well together. I think the West Wing students who are going out, I think they are pretty confident. They are able to make their own views known pretty well. We help each other out, we have a happy days, and when every, anybody is down, we actually pull the person up together and uh, make sure that uh, he smiles or she smiles and we take good care of each other. I think we can do it the West Spring way. Teachers in West Spring are a very special lot. Uh, we always work uh, hard for the students because we want them to leave West Spring um, achieving the best that they can be. They can be assured that if they were to be in West Spring that um, they will be given the very best preparation for their future. I believe that West Spring will be able to achieve uh, even greater heights in the future. As a pioneer, I love West Spring very much. This is my family and I will want to stay until I'm retired from West Spring Secondary School.